Hey guys, this is Dominic Zen, and uh, I wanted to show you a cool tool for uh, what you know to use while you're building and trying to build your own funnels or creating your own web pages, landing pages, capture pages, you know, uh, for whatever uh, marketing system you're using. It's this uh, website is called the Button Factory. It allows you to create custom buttons for use on all your web pages uh, and you can download them and all that cool stuff so I just wanted to go do a real quick uh, run through show you what it can do what it does and I'm currently you starting to use these I I personally use the PLS system and you know sometimes what they have in their system just doesn't quite fit you know what I'm trying to do and you know when it's you know it's like step one well I don't want to say step one on a button and there's nothing really in there or maybe step one fits but I just don't like the design of the damn button you know this allows you a little bit of personalization help you stand out and uh, you know make the make your web pages your own and they're not just cookie cutter bread and butter you know identical to somebody else's in, in a sense. You're not using the same thing that everybody else is. You know, you can be unique. So basically, you know, here you are, this here in the center, uh, this is what your button currently looks like. When you pop up the website, this is this sort of two-tone, it's hard to see, uh, blue, and it just gives the sample text. Change the text, all you gotta do is come up here and just, we'll just call it, uh, my cool text. Alright, you hit enter, boom, changes it. Okay, so I can't spell, it's all one word, whatever. But the cool thing about this too, let's delete some of this, it, it'll auto-size your button, as you just saw there, it just says my. Or if I just want to go land blast a whole bunch of stuff in there, auto-sizes it to however big. So you can have a, you know, a more customized button feel like yes I want my free secret system but boom there you go you know it the only thing I wish it would do I wish it could sort of word wrap word wrap maybe maybe there's a way to do it I haven't found that out yet but despite all that it's pretty cool down here, you know, this is all your auto text functions. You, you know, they got a decent little, you know, selection of uh, fonts. So you want that? Just choose it, and yeah, see, that's cool. It just it automatically changes. You know, let's go to lobster. Woo! You know, and it auto resizes it. Uh, you want it bold? No bold, bold, italic. You know, you can change the size. Yeah, that's maybe a bit too much, so we'll just bring it back to, I don't know what it was at, we'll just say 24. You want the same color, preset colors, make your own color, sort of, you know, we'll just leave it at that. I'm just, I'm not going to save this. Text shadow. This is sort of a cool function here. Um, this shadow thing. In one of the, in one of the web pages in PLS, it allows for you know, if you know what you're looking for, you can make what looks like a button that will, you know, when you mouse over it, it looks like it's going to do something, like it's being depressed or something every time you do it. Uh, but you can sit here, and when you pop that shadow, it actually makes it look like the text is raised off the button. It's a cool effect. So, you can actually make these, make one just normal like so, and you can go and do some, you know, added effects, like, okay, there's a thing, and when you scroll over it, this would be your first one, and then, like, it's somebody's activating the button when you go over on top of it, instead of it being, looking like it's up above, it'll look like it's been depressed, sort of like that. And again, you can, what color do you want the shadow? Okay, we want a red shadow. What, whatever floats your boat. The size, I don't know what this is. I haven't played with this section. Horizontal padding. Oh, okay, that's just but that's just button size. Changes the size of the button, make it a little bit bigger, 
fatter, whatever. So that's sort of cool to know. Um, and here, this is a cool function right here. Roundabout, the style of your button. This is what makes this so cool. You can just do a regular rectangular style, what it came out to be, you know, with the rounded edges, or a round box, round button. I've been sort of running with this round button thing. Uh, the background, you can, you know, you can see the two tone. Here are your colors. And it's sort of hard to see with this blue because it's sort of, you know, just sort of close. But when you come in here, you know, unicolored, that's that one. Bicolored, there you go. Yeah, you know, and you can definitely see the distinction with that one. Uh, simple gradient, that's where it's doing a fade from the two colors, your top color to your bottom color, and your pyramid gradient. And that basically makes it darker in the center and uh, lighter on the sides. But, you know, you can, of course, we can change the color, you know, boom. That's a better way to look at this right there. So you can see it. You know, we'll go back here. You know, colored, it's... Oh, God, turn down the volume. Okay, that looks like some sort of pill I got from my doctor right there. And now we do the simple gradient. But you can see... That's a little bit easier on the eyes. Sorry about that, guys. But you can see right here how it goes from the dark up to the brighter. And this is cool here, the swap. You can change it around. See, I sort of like this effect because you can uh, make it sort of look uh, like a jewel. You know, like sort of a little jewel, jeweled effect. Gem, you know, like diamonds, jewel. And the pyramid thing, boom. Boom. And the cool thing, you know, well, I'll go into this cool thing here in a second. Uh, bubble effect. You see that little swooshy thing up on the top? Uh, it's not so easy to see there, but we'll do it with a simple gradient. That little swooshy bit right there. That sort of gives it that little jeweled tone effect. I sort of like that myself, personally, with that bubble effect. And then a border, if you sort of want to border around it, uh, we'll, do, we'll go with basic black. Make that easier to see. Okay, there. But there you go. There's your border, just so you can see what that looks like, and we'll drop back that back down to a one and a shadow for it. Uh, same thing. You can show where it's at, where you want it orientated. So we'll go southeast. All right. And this is what's cool with this whole thing, the way it's set right here. If you look at it, it sort of looks like the the button is raised up above everything. And this is cool because you can go and save it. No, I don't save, I just download download this button. And what happens is on certain one of the certain pages, or if you know the proper coding, HTML coding, what you can do is make this look like whenever somebody goes in and scrolls over this, like they're deep like I said before, depressing it. How do you do that? Well, a couple things you can do. We're not going to change the border, but say this is how it looks generically when you just ooh, the page just popped up, and this is what it looks like for as bad as it looks, you know. But what you do to make it look like one? Okay, I want to select this. Okay, so my mouse goes on it to click on it, right? Well, I come over here, and to make it look like I've selected it, you can remove that shadow from around the side and then come over here the text shadow you decrease that and now what does it look like this is so cool and you, you go and you save this too so now it looks like you know when it you know when I'm click it boom now it's gonna look like this I'm gonna shoot a video uh, showing you know here I'm gonna be re, you know doing a quick little video I can't say quick. I'm going to be doing a video anyways uh, showing how to set up a simple little uh, uh, capture page in PLS here when I get some time. And I'm going to use this, this button system. I'm going to create a couple buttons and everything I'm trying to describe here I will show you. But basically it'll be, okay, mouse over it so I can click on it 
this is what you'll look like and when I pull my mouse off it'll go back to this so it looks like it just raised it up off the damn you know raised it off the page so it's an so it's a, it looks like it's an interactive button which is pretty damn cool to me and it's one one of the reasons why I'm starting to use this because it just helps make my stuff stand out a little bit more and as you know doing the marketing thing you want to be unique you want to be yourself and you want to stand out and uh, one of the last couple of things will come here this is the different ways you can save it PNG files, GIFs, JPEGs pretty, you know pretty self-explanatory this whole little uh, website is is very uh, what's the word you can figure it out pretty damn easy is what I'm you know what I'm trying to get at uh, I don't there's a term for it I just don't know what the hell it is off the top of my head you can get the embed code you know see what it says right there on the screen see ways to embed this button on a website or with PLS if you you know PLS they have a system to where you can load up your own buttons and stuff into your own library that's what I'm doing. That way, I'll ha always have this particular button in my own PLS library. And I'll show you how to do that on the other video. So, I haven't tried this, but... Okay, this is the URL, the current button page, blah, 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 blah. Alternatively, here's the CSS3 declarations for this button style. So, I guess, if you're a coder, I'm not a coder. I think this is everything here you know all this stuff in this box is what you need for your uh, 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 what you call it your HTML coding to make this button so I'm not about that I want to make this simple so my simplicity is right here hit download you hit the button and I hit the button there it goes and just you know you go save I'm not gonna save this particular button but you just go boom save now it saves it to your hard drive and you're good to go anyways cancel that uh, anyways guys I hope you found this some informative I hope you use it this is just you know I understand a lot of people just use share codes but you need to start you know getting the you know go out there and start messing around trying to build your own website so that's the only way you're gonna learn and uh, you know, have fun with it. Who cares if it looks crappy? You know, the only way you're gonna, you know, learn how to do things is take it one step at a time. Uh, enjoy this little walkthrough, and I hope you get a lot of good usage out of this website. I know I am. I will talk to you on the next video.